Hey, one is Brutal here, and uh, do you guys remember those Sonic Mega Collection Plus videos? Well, they're gone. Because uh, all these times I've been so frustrated because I had to go through all these videos and trying to figure out what to say and everything. So for now, we're just doing an unboxing of Sonic Mega Collection Plus. Um, released in 2005, made for the PlayStation 2 and Xbox. It's supposed to be a uh, sequel to the GameCube game. Um, it's great to see this version because it works well. Um, you can buy this very, very cheap. I bought this only for ten dollars, which I'm uh, really happy about. As you see, it has the official artwork from the original GameCube game. Um, I own the GameCube game, but I uh, only. Oops, sorry about that. Um, I own the GameCube game, but uh, I only own the instruction manual for now. I put the game. In cube away for a bit because uh why not so as you see on the back it still has the seven classic Genesis games plus six additional Sonic the Hedgehog Game Gear games if you know what the Game Gear is it's Sega's first portable handheld that only lasted for around six years until 1997 until it continued on in 2000 by the help of Majesco if you know what they are. Um, as you can see, Sonic the Hedgehog 1, 2, 3, Mean Bean Machine, my favorite puzzle game, Puyo Puyo, of course, Spin Ball, 3D Blast, and uh, Sonic and Knuckles. Um, a lot cool games and secrets, just like the original, and we design interface with extra bonus material. Um, it's for one or two players because someone likes Sonic 2, Sonic 3, Mean Bean Machine, um, uses two player, and this used 455 kilobytes of memory for your memory card. So, uh, let me try to open it up, and I got mine complete. Here's the CD-ROM, or ROM. As you can see, the me yeah, focus on it a bit. There you go. Uh, as you can see, it has a checkered background. Here's the instruction manual. Let me just uh, open it up. Come on. $9.95. So here's the instruction booklet. On the back it shows advertisements of the ever not so popular Sonic X anime. As you can see, it shows the DVDs that's ever out. A Super Sonic Hero, The Chaos Factor, Satellite Schwindel, and Beating Eggman. Like the fuller, yay. Who even watches Sonic X? I only see the Japanese version on YouTube. As you can see, it's uh, not quite as beefy as the original. The original manual for the GameCube has over 40 pages. This one only has um, around 20, counting with the notes. Um, as you can see, the instruction booklet shows how to hook it up, and it shows the games as well. As you can see, um, all the all the covers are the same except for Sonic and Knuckles and 3D Blast because 3D Blast, however, uses the Sega Saturn uh, cover art, if you know what the Saturn is. It's Sega's uh, CD-ROM, uh, one of Sega's CD consoles. It only lasted for like three years. And uh, as you can see, it has the, I have some of the cheats for some of the Sonic games. For Sonic 1, I have level select in debug mode. And for Sonic 2 and 3D Blast, it's got the debug mode. CD Barracuda cheat. And the other sh other sheets for Sonic 2 for the sound test on the level select. Um, you can get debug mode, uh, which is the 199211124. Um, I forgot what the 34126 is, but I don't. F I forgot. And for 4126, it's the Super Sonic cheat. Overall, good manual. So here, um, let me take all the stuff out. Show you the entire thing. So I'll be right back to show ya. Alright, as you can see, it only comes with three things. The cover, of course, the instruction booklet, and the disc. Yeah, it has some uh, clear discs, unfortunately. Um, If you want to check out other compilations, uh, I do consider Sonic's Ultimate Genesis Collection. It comes with 40 Sega Genesis games for the 360 and PS3, not the PS2, unfortunately. Um, there's also Sonic Mega Collection for the GameCube, of course. 
Son of Gems Collection, again for PS2 and GameCube. I don't know for the Xbox. I don't know. I don't even own the Xbox. I own the 360 and Xbox One. Um, and, the CD, and the Sega 3D Classics Collection, which came out not too long ago, which came with some of the Sega Genesis classic, classics like Altered Beast, Sonic 1, and Puyo Puyo 2. One of my favorite Puyo Puyo games, rather, Puyo Puyo Sun, which is the third entry. So, on part two, we'll be taking a look inside the game. I guess I'll see you guys next time. See ya. Like, comment, and subscribe to me, the Gaming Ghost.